down to around the 25-yard line. Here's the throw, high, intercepted! All right, all right, that's just what the doctor ordered. Great job. Sims picks it off. Sims, we, we went to our shell cover too, and he threw it right over the top right to him. And we're gonna have a little fun down in the Cork and Brew tonight, baby. Caleb Sims picks it off. The young man from Park Hill South, a sophomore. Uh, yeah, we had a great win. Uh, this past week um, versus Kentucky Westland. Um, had a couple picks, uh, made some plays. Uh, defense played well overall. Um, just going into next week, um, just taking each day at a time. Um, you know, that game, it was a great game, but, you know, we still got a season to play. So just um, putting day after day and just focusing on our next opponent. Um, we can celebrate this, you know, after the season, but, you know, just focusing on our next opponent, giving them 100% and the look to come away with the win, uh, make some plays, get more picks, and do what we do. Okay, well, as far as the uh, onside kick was concerned from Saturday's game, that's something we'd noticed uh, from them, their alignment initially, and, and uh, as Coach Chapman called it, it was a 7-10 split. Um, they only had four guys up front, and we knew we had a very good opportunity there. It's something we had planned all week, that the first kickoff in the second half was going to be a K-Kick or Kansas, and uh, we just executed. We'd tried that in the past before, and we'd always had something little go wrong, where it clipped the back of a guy's heel, or we recovered it at 9.5 yards or something like that, and we, we were fortunate enough to get that on Saturday. Yeah, Warren, Warren did a really nice job. Um, you know, he came, he bounced back. He'd missed an early field goal, and uh, after that, he was knocking the heck out of the ball and, and really kicking it well. And anytime we can have touchbacks, we're going we're gonna to do that. Um, you know, it wasn't a situation where he had gale force winds behind him or anything. He was just really getting into it and did a nice job of uh, getting those out of the end zone. We have to cover regardless, but uh, he did a really nice job of uh, making them start uh, with a lot of field left. I was very, very pleased with the, both our uh, coverage teams, kickoff coverage and uh, and our return uh, punt return or punt coverage teams. The um, the uh, kickoff coverage team allowed uh, two returns for a total of 32 yards. So you know, a 16 yard average on that team is excellent. And then uh, they had one punt return for zero yards. And uh, anytime we can do that, we're going to win the field position battle and give ourselves a chance to win the game. Well, you know, anytime you. You get your first one of the season. You're hoping that the, you get on a little winning streak there, and, and that's our plans as well. Uh, you know, it, nothing changes from a preparation standpoint. You prepare every week, uh, you know, to win a football game, and we're not doing anything different this week. Um, you know, we we're beat up, and a lot of people are going into week four or week three of the season, and and uh, so there's not a lot of difference there. We've got to get some guys healed up, and uh, you know, does that change the way you practice? And maybe you, you edit a few things just to to make sure you're continuing to get healthy, but the speed of practice isn't changing and and the most important thing for us is that we continue to uh, to do the little things right and uh, you know execute and make plays when they're there to be made and and when you do those things and you, and you play at a good pace uh, good things usually happen so we're hoping for a good outcome this weekend we're planning to go up there and win um, you know and uh, hey, we, you plan on that every week so we'll see what happens this week coming up, we're playing South Dakota Mines, and uh, as an offense, we plan to get our running game down, but it all starts with our offensive linemen, but me, Phil, and Thomas Cook Jr. plan to rack up some yards this week coming up and uh, get us our second second W this year. In the eye with uh, Josiah O'Brien leading the way for Whitney. He does this well, bouncing outside, and to the, still on his feet, finally down at the 37-yard line. One, two, three, four, two, three, four.